Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Thursday, November 11th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. It looks like we have a very interesting construction today. Look at the center here, this checkerboard pattern. That means we have four unchecked squares here. I'm very interested to see what's going to go in those four squares. But let's start with one across. A test of one's humanity. And this is wordplay, so I guess it's not going to be about whether or not you do the right thing. Is it going to be like a DNA swab or something like that? Is it going to be like a literal test to make sure you're human? Could be something like that. Watery. Like watery eyes? Tearful, maybe? Hmm, it would fit. You know what, let's try and get some of these shorter downs. They might confirm some of these guesses we're making here. Driving needs. I guess this could be about driving a car. It could be about driving on a golf course too. I have a feeling it's a little bit of a misdirection. I think it's gonna be about golf. It's gonna be plural and then maybe it's tees. You almost always have to hit your ball off of a tee when you're driving, yeah, okay. It covers 90 plus a million acres of the US. Hmm, I'm having a hard time imagining how big exactly 90 plus million acres are. It seems like it's a lot. Um, it's so short. I'm not sure what this is gonna be. Blank Jass, subject of one of Bart Simpson's prank calls. <laughs> Is that Hugh Jass? Sounds about right. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Is it all right? No, that's too long. I guess this could be about approving something too. Hmm, it's not say so. What were our guesses for these again? It's not DNA swab. It's not gonna be DNA anything, I don't think. Watery, hmm. It kind of looks like it may actually end in full. Could it be tearful? This can't be iron, a kind of a club. It has to be plural, hmm. Winter Olympics events since 1988. Huh. It's events plural. So this is maybe an S here. Cartwheels and such. Hmm. Is this about the maneuver of a cartwheel where you kind of do a flip or... Is this literally talking about a wheel of a cart? Hmm. I don't know. Staff? That could be a rod, maybe, like a royal staff. Fats, dominoes, blank that a shame. I really want that to be ain't that a shame. What are these long downs here? Bygone game show with a mobile set. A mobile set? Why would you need to move a game show set around? Is it in different cities? Hmm. School houses, and this is wordplay. So it's not gonna be about a little red schoolhouse. School houses, is it about schools of fish? And the houses they could live in? Hmm. Is it not ain't? This eye looks a little weird to me. I don't know. Hmm. Accommodations on a scouting trip. Scouting. So is this about camping? Maybe this is Boy Scouts? Is it tense? Something tense? Oh, maybe it's a rod that's wrong. This should probably be pup tense. Um, oh. But the clue is asking for plural accommodations. Shoot. <laughs> uh, that's such a good answer. Uh, hmm. 
Philippines battle site of World War II. I definitely don't know that. Ugh, man. Is this T correct? Blank Smith, star of Tyler Perry's for better or worse. Ugh, I have not seen this. Business that makes cuts in order to turn a profit. And this is wordplay, so it's not gonna be about an MBA making cuts in your business to trim the fat. I think it's gotta be about a business that literally cuts things. Um, is it about haircuts, maybe? Hmm. Boy, this Thursday is really putting up a fight. This is great. This is a really good challenge. Intensifies with up. Is it hikes up, maybe? Arabian Gulf port. Oh my god. My Arabian geography is not great. Um, back in college. More wordplay, so it's not about going back to get a degree. What kind of back are they talking about here? Huh. Circus venue. It's not a tent? A big tent? Hmm. I wonder if we have rebuses today. Nothing is falling in. Absolutely nothing. Hmm. One time radio host Don, is that Don Imus? I think it might be. I suppose an equivalent phrase could be, hmm, that doesn't fit. Emphatic refusal. I'm not something. I'm not it. Hmm, it's not great. Holding in a cryptocurrency wallet. Okay, so maybe this is a Bitcoin? Oh my god, this is actually the first answer that I kind of feel pretty good about. That in huge ass over here. Um, hmm. It's not Big Top, is it? Maybe it is Big Top. I think hikes might be wrong, actually. Um, so what could this be? Heats up, maybe? Yeah, that's better than hikes up. Okay. I suppose could be guess so. Look at those three S's in a row there. Many a TikToker. Hang on a second. Um, are we running into the black squares or something? Shouldn't this be like a tween? Tween? Hmm. I don't know. Something weird is happening here. Could it be a teen ager? Hmm, I don't know. Mama of Pop. I think that's Mama Cass from the Mamas and the Papas. Making a scene, say? Is this about making a scene on a movie set? Could it be on set or something? Hmm, it's got you covered. Is it insurance? It's much too long to fit. Hmm, Chinese restaurant fare. Is it just noodles? Fits in pretty nicely. Uh, it does start with I'm. It might be on the nose. It might be on the nose. What kind of nose? Hmm. Noble title. It's not Earl. The fact that this is three letters long makes me very suspicious about this. I really think we might be running into these black squares here, these pluses. Cast didn't run into it though. Maybe it's only on the kind of ends of each of these plus signs here. This could be a teen. This could be an Earl. What is this here? Oh, right back in college, that's tricky. Hmm. And what was this one? 
staff. I guess it could be running into here. What's this one? Oh, right. Business that makes cuts. Barber? Oh, you know what? If it was a salon, it could be S-A-L-O-N. Interesting. And this one we think maybe has an N at the top too. I wonder if all of these have the same letters hidden in them? If this is an N, hmm, it covers 90 plus million acres. It's not farm, is it? Oof, this is so tricky. There are 5,164 along the Great Wall of China. Hmm. It's gonna be something plural. Is this an S? Put on the schedule. Put on the schedule. This clue could be in the past tense too. It has that tricky word put in it. Um. Hmm. Hard hitting line drives in slang. Well, sometimes they're called like frozen ropes. Um, hmm. That's usually when a ball is thrown though. Hard hit line drives, geez. Smooth, lustrous material. This has to be Necker, right? Mother of Pearl, N-A-C-R-E. That would put another N in here. N. I wonder if these are all N's. We wanted this to be Earl. Boy, this is tricky. This is, this is a great challenge. A death in the family writer. I feel like I've heard of this before, but I can't remember what it is. If it's a novel or a short story or something. Yeah. Hmm. Well, if this is an E, if this is in fact running into the black squares, does that make this make sense? I'm EA, that looks a little weird. Maybe it could be a tween though, and this could be a W. KFC side dish? Oh God, I have no idea. Maybe slaw? Hmm. West. Hang on just a darn minute. Are these compass roses? North, east, south, west. Is that what we have here too? Because we want an N here and an E here, right? Oh my goodness, did we just crack this? We thought this could be salon, right? That would make this an S. Oh my god, yeah, that's gotta be it. Oh god, I think this is Aden, maybe? I think that's off of Yemen, maybe? Um, This could be an E, right? Grub could be Eats. Oh my god, we just broke it open. Breaks down. Maybe breaking down as in crying, sobs? Okay, this is looking like Earl, right? That's what we wanted all along. Okay, this should be teen, although this is looking really weird. Although maybe it's not I'm, maybe it's I mean no. Ah, oh, there we go. Man, we just needed that reassurance that our answers were in fact correct. And having that conviction really helped break this open. Okay, um, maybe this is about being on a movie set. Is this insurance? It really looks like this wants to be insurance. It's too long though, insurance, C-E. I wonder if there's more stuff hidden in these squares. It doesn't seem like it though. There was nothing really hidden up here it didn't seem like. Hmm, I really don't think so. So what could this be instead? It's got you covered. Could it be an insurer? Yeah, like an insurance company? Oof, okay. Um, what is this? It might be on the nose. A spud? I don't think so. 
Hmm. Maybe this could be on stage. It was about a performance, at least. It wasn't a movie set, it was a theater production. Okay, um, is this Aggie? I wonder. It's on the plus side. Is it an asset, maybe? If you're totaling up your assets and liabilities? Yeah, it could be. Um, maybe this could be lasers, a hard hit line drive. What did we want this to be? Knacker, right? That doesn't make sense. This has to be an N. Maybe this is satin. There we go, okay. Um, okay, so maybe this could be slate. That could be putting someone on a schedule. Is this steps along the Great Wall of China? Is that right? Hmm, could be. Back in college. Okay, so this has to be an E. This has to be a W. Oh my God. It's about backing someone as in giving them money, giving the college money. You would endow the college, right? <laughs> that is so hard. Oh my God. Okay. What a brutal theme answer here. You have to know how the theme is working and you have to get this really tricky wordplay clue correct. I love it, okay. Um, maybe this could be Ascent. You're okay, you're Ascent, okay. Um, test of one's humanity. So this is gonna end in an N also. Hmm. Uh, 1988, jeez. This corner is still very tricky, even knowing how the theme is working. This ends in a W. Staff. Could that be crew, maybe? Maybe like in a theater production? Okay, that W really helped a lot. Um, maybe it is a pup tent. I think accommodations, even though it has an S at the end, I think it could still mean a singular answer. Pup tent. Yeah, like, do you have accommodations? Do you have a room? It could be singular, yeah. Um, okay, does that help? What in the world? Watery. Watery. Is this aqueous? <laughs> oh my god, what a word. Look at all those vowels. An aqueous solution? A watery solution? Holy moly, that is hard. Okay. Um... Is this a CAPTCHA to test that you're not a bot, that you're a human? <laughs> this puzzle, oh my God, okay. This puzzle feels like it's testing my humanity. Um, okay, is this something cab? Was it cash cab? Yeah, that's right. That was kind of a knots game show, wasn't it? Okay, I always wished I would get into a cash cab. It never happened. Schoolhouses. Oh, it was about fish. I think it's gonna be aquaria. Yeah, aquariums, plural. <laughs> Homes for schools of fish. So what is this gonna be? Super G's? Is it corn? What is super G's? What the heck is that? Goose, what is a super G? Oh my god. This puzzle, it is unrelenting. Um, oh, whoops, it should be an R, right? Corn, yeah, okay. Super G's, oh my god, okay. Hmm, does this look familiar? B-A-T. Shoot, oh my god, okay. Um, so this starts with an S. It is gonna be Salon. Yeah, we were really on the right track there, okay. Um... I think this is baton, maybe, that's ringing a faint bell. Uh, two T's though, that can't be right. Um, maybe it's two A's in a row. Issues while fishing, would that be snags? I really don't know anything about fishing. Hardly a green vehicle. Uh, hmm, like something that pollutes a lot? I don't know. 
Extent. Maybe that could be the scope of something? Double figures. This is more wordplay. The wordplay has been especially tricky today. Double figures. Is this like a movie double? Like a stunt double? Hmm. It could be so many things. Jostle. Okay, this is going to be E and then a W. Hmm. That could be elbow maybe, right? <laughs> that could be jostling someone. Oof. Okay. These E and W ones were a little easier just because there are not that many words that start with E and end with W. Okay. Second or third person, more wordplay. Uh, so it's not going to be about like a narrator, right? In a book. Um, hmm. What is this talking about? Is this going to be about like siblings or something? Hmm. Kind of justice or license. That is definitely poetic. Yeah, I think sometimes we let the puzzles have a little bit of poetic license in order to fit some crazy themes in there, kind of like today's. Oh my god, this theme. Um, I wonder if we're going to get a revealer at any point that kind of mercifully gives you a clue that you're looking for cardinal directions. Um, we haven't gotten any indication of one yet, though. Puerto Blank? That's got to be Puerto Rico. Suspiciously easy there. Um, hmm, I don't know. It's not talking about like Junior or something, right? I don't think so. Colossal, could that be Titanic? Another word for something gigantic. Place to perform figure eights. Is that an ice rink? Is that where super G's happen? I have no idea, I don't think so. Um. Oh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> here's the revealer. Well, we got it figured out before we hit the revealer. That's something at least. Provider of directions or a hint to the four plus shapes in this puzzle's grid. That's going to be a compass. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. So this is going to be STEM down here. Acronym in academics. Yeah. Science, technology, engineering, and math. Okay. Complaining fish. This is more wordplay. Um, I think this is going to be just kind of like a punny name type wordplay. I think it's going to be a carp because carp is another word for complaining. Yeah. Homeland of gymnast Nadia Comaneci. Uh, shoot. I think I read her Wikipedia article a few days ago. I think she was from Romania. Yeah. California blank. Oh man, there's a lot of things named after California. We're gonna need a little bit more help here. Land in Spanish, oof. I don't know that much Spanish. Exactly right, that's gotta be to a T. Tote, okay. This is gonna start with an E, right? Send out, that should be emit, okay. Blank Grande, city south of Phoenix. I have no idea. Is it Casa, maybe? Is it California Raisins? Oh, nice. That's great. They had the best stop motion commercials in the 80s. God, I still remember those. Okay. Paroxysms. Those are kind of like fits. It's looking like it's going to be attacks. Yeah. So this is Terra Land. That makes sense. It kind of looks like Terra, like Terra Firma. And then this is Casa, Casa Grande, maybe. Okay. Um, yeah, we didn't get any more help here, did we? Well, we know this ends in a W. That's good. That's a rare letter. Change states, perhaps. <laughs> more wordplay. More wordplay on the theme answers. Um, hmm. Change states. So, is it not going to be about changing states as in like an element like ice melting into liquid water or something is it going to be about moving change states man ooh, tough okay blank red hot and live 1982 soul album i haven't heard of this one oh boy um i kind of want this to be a hog 
Something hog? Is it Tasha Smith? Is this an A? I don't know, is it like Etta? Like Etta James? Could these be T's here? Olympian, e.g. Is this gonna be an Olympian that's doing the Super G? Um, or is it gonna be a Greek god that's on Mount Olympus? Hmm. Like many paper handouts. That could be so many things. Like brochures? They go to great heights. This is gonna be plural. Well, that's helpful. We could maybe put an S in here. Red Cross fluids, okay. This is gonna be sera, I think. Like serum, plural. Um, that's part of your blood that you donate, I think. Okay, um, phone meeting briefly. Briefly, so like an informal way of Describing a phone meeting? Hmm, like a conference call? Boy. Oh, we've got another theme answer here, right. Okay, car radio button. I want that to be scan. Yeah, that's the button that kind of auto scans radio stations for all you kids that have never used a radio before. Um, okay, former Senator Trent. That is Trent Lott, I believe. Is this a loser? Oh, it is a loser because you didn't come in first in the Super G. Yeah, you're a loser. Okay. <laughs> if you're not first, you're last, apparently. Um, hmm. Double figures. Oof. Well, it probably ends in an S. Nitpickers. Um, maybe it's pedants people that are real sticklers for details all right well we've got the end of these downs be informed perhaps read up that doesn't quite work hmm it's probably an e here yeah with this d at the end yeah maybe we can put that in Repeat. Is it iterate? I wonder. Iterating isn't necessarily repeating. It's like repeating with differences. Um, hmm. Maybe this is clones. That would be your double, right? Oh my god, okay. This wordplay, it has been so hard. It's been really good though. I definitely appreciate it. Yeah, you should make your clone do a CAPTCHA just to make sure they're really human. Okay. Um, is it a telecon? Like a teleconference? Oh my god, okay. Telecon crossing scan. This is some old-timey tech jargon right here. Um, it's tip? Be informed. Maybe it's get a tip. Yeah, like a police officer or something. Okay. Um, maybe this is Alps. The Alps go to great heights. Maybe this is Thaw. Oh, it was about changing states, as in like matter. I guess the standard reading of this would be like change states, as in like move to a different state. Yeah. Okay, so this is Thaw. Okay, and maybe this is Etta, red hot and live. I'm gonna go ahead and put her in. Um, oh, it's just an athlete, oh my god. All this trickiness just made me not see a very obvious answer here. And then this is gonna be stapled, yes. That would have been really hard to get without a lot of this crossing help. Is this a gas hog? It was a hog of some kind, okay. And then that does leave us with Tasha, I believe, and Baton. Oof, okay, a little bit of a tricky cross there, especially with that double A. All right, let's see if that does it for us. Oh my goodness, a Thursday puzzle in 38. That's about 15 minutes over our target time, I think. Wow, oh, look at that. We get a little compass in each one of our plus signs. That's so funny. They're all pointing in different directions. What does that mean? 
I guess they're all pointing towards the compass in the center or something. Okay, that's really cool. I love that. Um, I love when we get little pictures at the end. This theme, oh my goodness, this was no joke. I think if you kind of were a reasonable person and were having as much trouble as we did at the beginning, you might have gone and searched out the revealer just to kind of give yourself a jump start on getting an idea of how the theme was working. But I'm glad we kind of struggled and ended up finally getting a handle on exactly how the theme was working. These center unchecked squares are what finally broke it open for us. I think this made it a little more obvious when you had a W here and we were wanting to put an N and an E here. Yeah, that's when it finally clicked. But oh my god, this puzzle was so unforgiving. I mean, not in a bad way, it just kept throwing up really tricky wordplay clues on top of the kind of really hard to decipher theme. Um, I think this was a wordplay clue, right? Salon, a business that makes cuts. Um, this was a wordplay clue, thaw, changed states. I loved that one. Um, this was also a wordplay clue in Dow, back in college, another really good one. And then we had a bunch of other wordplay too that wasn't related to the theme that also cranked up the difficulty. Clones for double features. Captcha, a test of one's humanity. Oh my God. Carp, this one wasn't too bad. We finally got a wordplay clue that didn't put us through the ringer. Um, but yeah, I think just in general, this puzzle played very difficult. It had some tricky language on it. Aqueous, Aquaria up here. Um, we had paroxysms. That's kind of a $10 word there. What did this end up being? Stud? It might be on the nose. Ah, of course. Yeah, like a nose ring. And this was hats. Cartwheels and such. Is a cartwheel a hat? That's weird. I've never heard of that before. Oof. Yeah, like I was saying, this is a very unforgiving puzzle. I really loved how diabolically hard this was. Um, it's always kind of a surprise when a Thursday puzzle puts up this much resistance, but I kind of love it. I don't mind at all when we get really hard Thursday puzzles like this. Well, I hope you enjoyed solving that very difficult Thursday puzzle with me. Thankfully, we were able to finally find our compass and navigate ourselves out of this mess. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the themeless Friday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.